Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Phoenix here and welcome to a game that I think is still slept on even after all these years of being out and that is Insurgency Sandstorm. This game is so much fun. It is a game even I slept on for a long time and I think it still deserves to be played because it is still fun as hell and if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend while it's on sale for the next week to give it a go. I have been satisfied. I've just been playing co-op. Not versus mode, because it's too hard to potentially get into a game. We're going to turn this down a little bit, because it's very loud for you guys and girls. I apologize. This guy is getting lit up by somebody outside. By a lot of people outside. He's lucky to be alive. I saved his life. But yes, I really... Oh, no, he died. But I really think this game is being slept on. And it is so much fun. We are playing Checkpoint. So the idea is you either capture or destroy objectives as you move through the map. Pretty simple concept, but extremely fun. Right, let's see if there's any enemies... So unfortunately, I would play the versus mode, but the reality is the versus mode doesn't have enough players, I don't think, in my region to really play it. But I thought I'd do a video on this game just because I feel like not enough people do, and I feel like it deserves the, the you know, the recognition. Unfortunately, I believe the people that own um, the company that created this game fired all the developers, which is just sad and unfortunate. So, unfortunately, I don't think there'll be any more updates to the game, but it is still fun for, like, $15. Or you can have it on the Game Pass as well as an option, which is what I'm currently playing it on, which does not have a server browser and stuff like the Steam version does, which I guess is a disadvantage. So, if you want that, you got to get that Steam variant. It's like 1,500 to 2,000 people. There's still people playing co-op in my region, being Australia and that, you know. I've got myself in a really bad spot here. This is not... Oh, no, wait. There's a little bit of cover here. It's not too bad. waiting to see if he pushed at me or not. There we go. This boy's sitting back there keeping that covered, I think. Oh, fire. Ow. That is a really long Molotov throw. My God. That was impressive. I hit him. Shot through the fence. So, yeah, if you want, like, a, a realistic-ish um, shooter, especially, like, a co-op shooter to play, give this a go. Why not? I'm having a ton of fun with it, and I highly, highly recommend it. We're going to just play out, like, a full match here and see how we go. Okay, I'm going to push up a little bit. These enemies are going to start retreating. You can hear them. Oh, fucking run! You've got to be careful not to have them go be behind you when you do this. Because you can get your shit lit up. Ow. Because they'll run up to retreat and they'll run up behind you and just shoot you in the back. So you've got to be careful of that because that is a thing that can happen. That guy just threw a Molotov. Lock that way of going. I'm gonna have to go around. I don't want to keep shooting out that window. I'm gonna get killed being in that spot, I feel like. Hey, 
Yeah, okay, it does disable you from shooting. I was one. I, I thought that's what it did, but I wasn't 100% positive of that. That guy get what? How did I attack it? Oh, I think I accidentally shot him. Fair enough. I'm gonna try and get. Yeah, okay. I can get it without dying. That's good. <gasps> Grenade just rolled under the the van. Oh, mine. So I'm using the Rifleman class, which is like your stock standard class. So it's kind of your all-rounder. There's multiple classes. There's Breacher, there's Observer, there's Gunner, Marksman. There's all kinds of different classes you can use with different uh, abilities and advantages. And then there's your teammate that fails to kill that guy because you're both worried about shooting each other. So then you just get yeah, one of his dies. This is what happens when you die. You spectate, and if you, your team takes the objective, you respawn. If they don't, then it's round over, and you've got to try again from the start. And as you can see, my frame rate is awesome in this. 144 stable the entirety of the time, pretty much. I don't know whether it's even flicked to below it, to be honest. All right, so they got it. We respawned. Another one around that corner. Or not. No, he got killed. Okay. Jesus, could my shooting be worse? Stop attacking teammates, fuck yes. Oh my god. That's not how you want to enter a room in this game. That was really dumb. Yep. That's what happens if you uh, enter a room the way I did. Not the way I should have done it. If you play aggressive, you will get killed in this. It does not matter. The AI do not give a shit. And if you want something even more difficult than the, the mode I'm playing, there is a hardcore variant with even lower health and less HUD as well if that's something you're into. I haven't tried it yet, but I probably will once I've played a fair amount more to really get more used to it and played all the maps a decent bit. Because there's maybe 14 or 15 maps and there's night variants of those maps as well, which is a whole nother element. Um, night vision and everything works pretty cool in this game. So, I highly recommend it. Just give it a try, I reckon. I'd like to see more people playing this because I think it just still deserves the attention for the game that was created. My dude is getting lit up. So this guy's playing as the gunner class, so you can see he's got a light machine gun. Oh, that was a long time of standing at that window. Without having his gun. What are you doing? There's people there. What are you doing? He's in the fire. Oh my god, this guy's going to get shot. How do I die and this guy's alive? What the hell? Okay, fair enough. His mollies are crazy. Yeah, so I think a majority of the player base is probably on PS5 or the Xbox Series X or something because it did get a more ne a next-gen update. It gave it higher frame rates and stuff, so I think that's pulled a lot of people towards it. But I still, the PC player base and that, because there's cross-play and that you don't have to worry about that. You can still cross-play with the PS5 people just fine. I do want to try some Versus at some point, but I, I'm going to try it on a weekend when I think people will be playing it. It is midweek. What is this guy doing? Is he trying to get mine kills or something? Or what? I don't know what his plan exactly was then. He looks like he's lagging though. It's interesting. I wonder if, if they're on PS5 whether my spectator cam shows 60 FPS of their end which makes it look weird or something. I don't know. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's try not to die again this time. I've got to stop pushing in the building so fast and to be a little bit more careful. 
so I don't get myself killed this time. So this will be the last objective if we can take it. Now, usually the last objective, once you've taken it, you've got to defend it for a good two, three minutes, at least. Can I wrap around? He just kept going. I'm going to let him go. Okay. He wrapped around that way anyway. That was horrible shooting from me. I shot many bullets to the right of that man. Okay. We're good. Oh. My god, teammates, please. Of course I can't close that door, which sucks. Come on. Alright, now we gotta defend it. You can see all these guys respawn, because it's the last round, like the last area, so big defense is gonna mount. We've got that laneway blocked off with a Molotov. Oh my god, what? Did it get me or was there a second one? No way! Oh yeah, there's suicide bombers in this. Alright, uh, we're gonna watch... Who's the highest level boy? Pinker Brown? Watch Pinker Brown. Oh no, we'll watch, watch this boy. See how he goes. I think he's playing Marksman. That was another suicide bomber. You can see it gets pretty hectic on the last run. It's just constant explosions, things going off. It doesn't really stop. Um, I believe someone might have called in a strike of some description, which has caused all the explosions to be happening, which is killing teammates, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like two or three teammates have gotten killed by that stuff. Which is crazy. Guys going off with a shotgun, which um, is part of the Breacher class. You can have a shotgun as well. Um, or an SMG, which is designed basically to enter buildings. It's designed to breach buildings. That's the idea of the class. That's it. I either play Rolf and win a breach generally. They're my two classes that I pick. As you can see, if I go back here, I do have a breacher class. Like I have three of them, a KSG, an MP7, and a Val. Which we might. We could go breacher and show it off. Alright, it's big push time. Let's see. Last 20 seconds. See if they can string it together and get this done. I'll probably play another game after this one, seeing as I've done so, eh. Like, I haven't done too bad score-wise, just didn't really want to die so many times. There we go. Plus, it was a shortish match, it's only 13 minutes, so we can fit another one, seeing as we won first go. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you fail three times. Earned at least 500 score and lived for the entire round. Very impressive. That's probably why he's such a high level, to be honest. Because he just lives them, just survives, gets an extra bonus for that, I would assume. And the only thing you get by leveling it up is just cosmetic items. You've got access to all the guns, technically, already, so... It's just all based on points. Let's see. Crossing? I like crossing. Alrighty. You should run. Come on, asshole. Let's just intimidate, intimidate, intimidate. So I'm using the breach class this time. I'm gonna see how we go with this. 
The idea of the breacher class is to try and sneak up and see if you can push your way in and clear, clear a building. Obviously, I use an SMG more so because I'm not confident enough to hear my shotgun shots. Why you end this game all the time, but I will get into using it more. Because that's what can happen if you've played too aggressive and not careful enough. I should have jumped through the window of the building and pushed the building, but I didn't. I go and get killed on the first objective. My god. You know what, actually? This, this would be a good time to try it. Why not? We'll try the KSG out. Uh, is there anything I can add to it that would be good? Not really. We can put some light armor on. Even though with the breacher class, you kind of want to be as fast as possible. I'll wear the light armor, even though I don't think it's going to do me much help. This guy's got a gold machine gun. My god. Oh, look. Level 3. Level 18. 21. See, it's good to see some lower levels in here. All right, silence KSG. Don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try it anyway. Because why not? Pretty sure I killed them from here. in this building, aren't they? Ow! Oh. Fucking idiot. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get shot. My god, alright, let's continue onwards. So yeah, with the with the detonation ones, you can blow it up with C4. I do know that much. Right, we need to actually be pushed up here. I should have been up here at B already, but I was going to try and lo load because I think it heals me, but... Okay, we need to try and get our way up there. This is not the greatest line of sight. It's very open, especially with only a shotgun. Did not kill that man. Yes, I did. Okay. We've got to be careful as we push our way up here because we're the first one in the building. He's going to be up top for sure, probably. Okay, there's another one in there. Please shoot. Okay. I tried to not get in that guy's way as well, so I didn't get shot. That's why I was just peeking, and that was it, not stepping to the right. Alright, now we gotta defend it. At least we're alive this time. A lot of them, most of them just come through this way. We'll watch the stairs with the shotgun, I guess. This guy's down here already anyway. And we'll put the gas mask on, because then we won't cough our guts up if we go downstairs. But it sounds like they're just gonna molly the shit out of them over and over again anyway. There we go. Come on.
My god. I found where they come from. They come from Cotton Eye Joe. Come on. Oh, I got him. Last shell. Okay, we've done it. We just gotta watch out. They're gonna start retreating. Okay, we need to load. We need ammo. not happy. Is he like level 500? Okay, definitely know his shit. Oh, I think I kind of know this one. This one's going to be really fucking hard without the minigun support, actually. This one's really difficult from memory. Or is it the next one up that's difficult? Come on, blow it. Oh, it's a capture one, is it? Oh, God. I'm trying to get through without causing these guys to have issues. This thing captured, no worries. Easy. Okay, now we gotta defend it. This is when he should have used the mini gun support. They're probably gonna cover that. I don't know whether they even come from behind the building. Fire coming in. I want to participate. I want to participate in the shotgun slaying. Worries. No minigun support needed. Pretty sure it's feasibly possible, but it, I can't do it. Need more ammo. What? Oh, it disappeared because of the fucking objective being updated. Yeah, now we need to go all the way up here because of the fucking thing being updated. To be able to change anything. That's what we needed. I don't know if I can take this off for now. K. 
Okay, please don't shoot me as I run up the left side of the buildings. Alright, I'm really out of stam. Chicks sucking wind. There's a swoop around the back here. They spawn back there. We can swoop back here and sneak in into the building. All right, we got it. Cleared it out. Got to be careful not to get Molotov though. How many we got? One more. G's the last one. Get out of the fire, you dumb gun dragon. Alright. Where? Oh, yeah? Watching that lane. This boy is watching this lane. They're all really just running from that far one, aren't they? Can't go up there, I thought I could. This guy's just popping off rounds. check. This man wants to go back to playing Minecraft. And that guy slayed out. Please keep shooting at them. You gonna do an auto cannon? Oh, sake. Well, I can't push that while you've got an auto cannon going. Yeah, it's gonna make it difficult. We're gonna commit. Flash bang and run. Yeah, we're dead. I uh, pushed way too hard. That was just silly of me. To be honest. If we get a cap, I'll respawn though, so... Ah, uh, Drox is, um, playing Sniper, so he doesn't really want to be up in objectives. I can understand that. Alright, I switched to Rifleman. I got the cap. Because we want 
to be able to hit long range. Because we're going to have them all coming in from over here. I don't have a lot of thermal to see through that shit. Do this as well. to just survive for another couple minutes and we'll be we'll be Gucci come on you see someone's laser there Oh, I think I hit him in the head. Oh my god. No! Rip. Oh well. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's an interesting spot. Guys inside. Yeah, I like that spot. Cool. Someone's in here. Starfish, help him. You got the SMG, bro. Okay. We win. What, I died two or three times? Three times. Killed the most enemies with a shotgun with at least 20 kills. 33 kills with a shotgun? I'll take that. I haven't really used it in this game, so I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, not the worst. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace.